I'm Bear Grylls. I'm gonna show you what it takes to get out alive from some of the most dangerous places in Dark Souls 3. I've got to make it through the DLC areas without having access to the main game. The only thing I have is my starting equipment and five means Niestas. To access the DLC, you normally have to go through Highwall Lottery and Undead Settlement. But for the sake of this video, I have used Dark Magic to go to the DLC. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Oh boy. This is going to be painful. Before embarking on this dangerous journey, we are going to need everything we can get. Let's just buy the Prism Stone and the Large Leather Shield. By using a well-known glitch called the Tree Jump, I can get 3 to 3 Tight Knights before entering the DLC. Prism Stone and... Large Leather Shield. Yeah, yeah. Let's not forget what about the Yester Shard and the Covetous Silver Suffering. Now that we have everything we need, it's time to go to the Ashes of Arian, the DLC. I'm going to die. Come on. Oh shit. Didn't think about that. Oof. They can't climb ladders, can they? Oh, nice. What do you upgrade with the Twinkling Titanite? Uh, I'm thinking Onyx Blade. It's going to be pretty good on Frida. Demon Prince? Uh, might be a bit more difficult. Okay. One or two more hits. After climbing the tower, you encounter a crystal lizard. This is going to take some time. Yeah, yeah. too good tight night. Be sure to grab the ethereal oak shield, as the passive health regeneration is going to help a lot. With our newfound gear in hand, it is time to cheese Sir Wilhelm. Fuck. I have entered the painted world of Ariandel. But without an upgraded weapon, I am soon faced with deadly situations. The local wildlife possesses many useful attributes, like these green blossoms that provide some much needed stamina boost. After passing through the charming wildlife, we get the Save Night Gale set, which has the highest physical damage absorption per weight in the entire game. With the damage I currently have, I won't be able to kill this crystal lizard in time, but thankfully, there is another way to kill it. Let it run away, follow it, and bamboozle it enough to make it commit suicide. Yep. Hm. Easy. Before I try my luck against Wilhelm, I'm going to need a lot more health. Ooh, that, that would have been it. Make sure to push him off the right ledge, as he is prone to getting stuck. Nice! Now that we have the Onyx Blade, it's time to upgrade and level up. We actually need 14 or less strength to use the Onyx Blade, but for now, level up your strength to 15. Now grab the Chill Bite Ring, and unlock the boss battle. There are two Crystal Lizards in the same room, and you won't have enough time to get both. So, what you can do is quit out and reload the area. For our final preparation, we are going to need the Pyromancer's Parting Flame. Okay, if this is anything like Dark Souls, I can just drop down the plank and hurry home, right? Now that we have the Parting Flame, we can now perform the Estus Glitch. Charge up your Parting Flame by killing 12 enemies, and spam the Weapon Art button to get infinite Estus. We have gathered everything we need, but fighting Frida is easier said than done. After all the preparation, we are about to test our luck against Sister Frida. Use the weapon art, sit on the bonfire, summon Gale. The key to fighting Sister Frida is abusing the backstab mechanic. Backstab. Wait a little bit. Charger 2 and L2. Shit, the last one missed. Pay attention to her jump and backstab her accordingly. Shit. 
Do not use all of your FP, as you will need it for base 2 and to perform the glitch. And burp as soon as phase 2 starts, as you will need the extra health. Let's save Night Gale, distract Fire, and target Ariando. Of course, if the chances arise, you can always back set Fire. After killing Ariando, pull out your parting flame and start spamming the L2 button. Really so. Two. Oh no, Gale! Don't come to me. The rest is same as phase one. Move around and fish for some nice backstabs. Gale, you stupid! Note that it is very unlikely that Gale will survive phase three, so using him as a distraction. It's not a very good idea. Her combo attacks, while being deadly, can be easily backstabbed. Okay. Why you gotta be so mean to me? Oh wait, she ain't, she ain't dead. She's dead now! Now that we have killed Sister Frida, it is time for the Ring City. After escaping the painted world, we are now in Drag Heap. Now that we have reached Drag Heap, it's time to plus 5 our Onyx Blade. The first Twinkling Titanite can be found upon the chandelier. Don't forget to pick up the Divine Blessing and the Ring of Steel Protection. After that, trigger the pillar, go back, and talk to Lap. Now, killing these cocoons not only removes the annoying ass angels, it also gives you two token tight knights per kill. Progress to Urban Peak, and get the fourth twinkling tight knight. Pick up the Ring of Favor and Protection, and kill the other two cocoons to get your last four twinkling tight knights. Note to self if you die or leave the place after you kill these guys, you will lose the Twinkling Titanites. What's that? Probably a chunk or something. Oh! <gasps> Divine Blessing? The Onyx Blade weapon art adds 145 flat fire damage, which is why I used this against Frida in the first place. But since Demon Prince is resistant to fire, we are going to need every single equipment we can get. I figured out how to do this jump. You just gotta get naked and jump into the corner and not to the sides. Just gotta jump here, do a plunging attack, fuck. Like that. Go down and get the SS ring. Now that we have everything we need, fill up your parting flame weapon art and prepare for Demon Prince. We are currently stranded in Erden Peak, and killing Demon Prince is not going to be easy. Amnesiac Lap. Let's see this. While Slave Knight Gale usually does more damage, Amnesiac Lap will survive longer. The secret to fighting this boss is using your one handed moveset. Spam R1 and crit, while Lap distracts the other. As soon as you kill the other one, go to a safe spot and start spamming L2. Uh, Lap? Would you mind not standing between me and Demon Prince? He isn't going to move easily. After refilling your Estus, swap the Parting Flame to the Ethereal Old Shield. God, I hate the Fireball Demon Prince. I would much prefer the later one, but I guess it's possible. A Divine Blessing can be a real godsend, especially in a fight like this. After a 10 minute struggle, involving a lot of close calls, I was finally able to kill the Demon Prince. God damn it! That thing does so much damage.
Ah, uh, the video is acting up again. I guess I can just drag this thing. And play. And I say, wait, hey, hey, it's just an ordinary day. And it's all your state of mind. At the end of the day, you just got to say, it's all I'm fucking gay. If I keep doing the same shit over and over again, I'm just going to get crazy. Oh! Hey! That was pretty easy. I have escaped Drag Heap, but Green City is going to be even harder. Oh boy, can't forget the Ring City welcome. Unlike Frida and Demon Prince, Save Night Gale and Midir will not give us the time we need for the weapon art glitch. Yeah, yeah, give me the Filionor's Chime. The Filionor's Chime can be a great way to regen your health. Nice. Ooh, this could be close. Fuck, the Onyx Blade does. Come on. I'll have to push Midir off the cliff. Well, we'll be able to see what kind of damage we're dealing with. 82. This is highly disturbing. To kill fire and dark resistant enemy like Midir, we're going to need another weapon. Our choice, the Earth Seeker. Do I have to kill this guy? I don't know. I think this is the one. Since it is upgraded with Titanite Scale, we have to backtrack and gather 50 Titanite Scales. One of each can be found in the Drag Heap and Urban Peak. Oh yeah, that's the Titanite Scale? Yep. And the rest can be found in various areas of the Ring City. One. Hmm. The Ring Knights have a low chance of dropping Titanite Scales, but you can find all the scales you need in the area showed on the video. The fuck? Huh. What's this? Oh, Titanite Scale. Two, okay. Finally, get a Titanite Slab by talking to the Corvian. Titanite Slab. 506 AR. Not sure if this is going to fit the whole Bear Grylls theme. Now that you have a viable weapon, get the Chloranthi Ring, and it's time to test the damage against Midir. Okay, this is much, much more viable. With our newfound weapon in hand, it's time to test our lore with the Spear of the Church. Crafted a new weapon to use it against the various bosses of Ring City. Come on. Yes! Got the backstab. Nope. Okay. Since Half Light will not give you the time for the Estus glitch, use the Sacred Chime to regen your HP. Woof, that's a lot of damage. Ugh. Weeaboo. Cross-dressing cunt. Oh wait, <laughs> I'm a cross-dressing cunt. After around half health, kill the second guardian as quickly as you can. Nope. And finish off half life. Okay. Yep. Whew. And now it's time for the big cheese, known as one of the hardest bosses in the game, Dark Eater Medir. Whew, that's a light, lot of damage. One. Two, and a swipe. Just like Half-Life, Midir will not give you the chance to use the Estus glitch. Oh, the fuck, it's stupid. Lock onto his head and attack when absolutely certain. Ah, oh, this weapon is way too slow. Ooh, phase two, phase two. Without the Estus glitch, a divine blessing is a godsend. 
Okay. Do not give up and keep the pressure. Woo! Okay. I'll take that. Come on. Not quite enough, but... Oof. Almost died to that one. I just need one more hit. And... Kill them in one hit. This game is too easy. You're gonna need a harder boss. So, the Earthseeker can pull out massive amounts of damage and can stagger Gale every three hits. Manage your stamina and only hit when absolutely certain. Ember up and use any buffs at the start of phase 2. Estes and use your Divine Blessing at the very last second. <laughs> Too easy! <laughs> Survival can be summed up in three words. Never Give up. Remember, no matter how bleak the situation may be, there's always a way out. <laughs> yeah, it's over. That was short, but not all good things have to be long. Like my dick. What the fuck?